just wanted to ask how, when you're playing on a line with Zach, and you have been a little bit lately, just uh, what you sense in his game that you think uh, can just be a good fit with yours and how it's gone so far? Uh, well, right away, I think uh, his ab ability to read the play. He's a really smart player out there, so it makes things easier. He's always in the right, right position. Um, when I get the puck, I, it's, I mean, it's been a game and a half, and we really didn't have that much time five on five with all the uh, power plays, penalty kills last game, but already kind of know where he's going to be. He's always kind of in that soft spot, uh, helping you out, uh, ready for the puck, and, and then he just holds on to the puck really well, wins a lot of battles, and, um, and create, creates plays from there. So I think uh, tonight will be good because uh, I think we're playing with uh, Yamo and, uh, and, and, and Himes, so um, get some chemistry going and hopefully play a little bit more five on five together. And, uh, but I mean, so far so good. Like I said, just a smart player. Uh, he's always working and always winning battles. It looks like you're going to play all three phases with him. I mean, you'll spend some time five on five together. You're going to be a penalty killing duo when he's in front of the net on the power play. Like, talk about a piece that's been added that affects all portions of the game that you're going to see a lot of. For sure. He's, uh, he's a versatile guy. He's got a lot of skill, um, can be on the power play. And, um, and I think just his hard work, his uh, ability to, to read situations is why he can be uh, such an effective penalty killer. Um, I know playing against him uh, when he was in Toronto, uh, he was a tough guy to, to play against on the penalty kill because he's, he's always working. Uh, he, he's knocking passes down and doesn't give you anything easy. So um, for me, uh, it looks like uh, at least we've been partners so far out there uh, on the penalty kill. So it's been good so far. We've been able to read off each other. And I mean, obviously, we'll grow that uh, as we go along here. But uh, yeah, I mean, he's a huge addition for us. And, and like you said, um, He's, uh, he's playing five on five, uh, penalty kill power play. So, I mean, you get a guy like that, that's, uh, that's a big addition for our team. Tippett, when he puts McDavid and Drysidle together, um, you know, they, they obviously can produce some results, but the idea that, you know, with adding Hyman, with yourself in the middle, that real second line true threat uh, when McDavid and Drysidle are together, do you see the value and the importance of that and how he may help with that? Yeah, I think definitely. I think uh, when those two guys are together, um, teams key on them a lot. So uh, we need to be be able to, to, I mean, whether it's producing or um, or just play a, a solid uh, two-way game, I mean, we need to hold on to that puck. And I think uh, that's something that Yamo's always done well. He, he goes and hunts pucks back. Uh, he creates a lot of loose pucks. and. Um, and can make plays off of that. And, and I think uh, Zach is, is the same as that. He, he creates a lot of loose pucks, makes plays. And uh, so for us, we got to hold on to that puck, playing a lot in the O-zone. And, uh, and, and like you said, be real the second line threat. Good for me. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Uh, I'm heading into the last game of the preseason here. I guess eight games goes by pretty fast. You've had some time now to, to spend with the new parts. What are you seeing in terms of how, how everything is, is coming together? I think, yeah, I think it's coming together really well. Um, obviously, preseason is a bit of a different animal, but I think uh, you can really build your game in uh, the preseason. So, um, I mean, we talked a bit about uh, Himes, but I think everybody, Keith or Cease, uh, Fogues, I mean, uh, Derek Ryan, I mean, uh, these guys are coming in and making huge impacts right away. And um, uh, that, uh, that Rhino and Fogues and Cass, I mean, that line, especially I think you saw last game, I mean, that's such an effective line for us. I mean, they're hard to play against. They have skill to, to create offense and, and hold on to that puck down low. And um, I mean, uh, hopefully Cass is all right. But uh, uh, I think that line can be hugely effective for us. And, uh, but like I said, I think all those pieces are really coming together and everybody's gelled really well so far. So uh, your, your sense of optimism then for this season, I know every, every season the team goes in, it's a team all like our chances. I think we have a, a pretty good look this year, but they're, they're not having some pretty significant and dramatic moves uh, on this team. What do you think the impact of those is going to be in terms of the um, Yeah, I mean, I think... I've been here long enough to, to not, uh, um, I mean, s sky high the, the expectations. I mean, we, we know 
we have confidence in our abilities in here. Uh, we know what we can uh, get done. Um, but at the same time, I mean, you say it every year that you want to make a push, and that's no different this year. Um, I believe that we absolutely can make a push, and uh, obviously it's a it's a long season, 82 back to 82 games this year, so um, it's back to that 82-game uh, grind, and uh, you got to make sure that uh, you find your way into the playoffs. But um, I mean, it's going to start Wednesday night, and you take it uh, day after day and uh, game after game. So um, the the guys that we brought in are uh, huge pieces of the puzzle, and uh, at the end of the day, it's. Uh, it's both the guys in the locker room being able to get the job done. But, I mean, uh, I like the way that our team's shaping up, and um, we all should have confidence in our group. For a player that Ryan's uh, stuff about the lines, I mean, the potential for mixing and matching this year is as good as it's ever been. He's Chip has a lot of options on what he can do up front there. As players, do you kind of like that as well, or would you almost prefer to have some stuff in most of the time playing the same guy? Um, well, I think it's good to, to have the ability to, to play with different guys, to be able to mesh with different guys. I think, uh, especially through camp, guys have seen, have played with some different guys. So you kind of get that, uh, get the chemistry going with a bunch of different uh, players early so that uh, if you need to, to go to some different combinations, it's, a, it's not a hard transition. So um, I think it's definitely a positive thing to have that depth to, to be able to move guys around and uh, everybody can gel with each other. Um, at the same time, it is nice to get some chemistry going with uh, certain guys and uh, and be able to build something with uh, with your own line. Hey Ryan, just one question for me. I know it's a game day, so I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to speak to you before Wednesday. It's your 11th season. Uh, getting on Wednesday. Does it feel like you're 11? Uh, yes and no. It's uh, it's definitely gone by fast. Uh, there's been a lot of change um, in my career here. I mean, obviously, uh, I mean everything has changed basically, including the different arena. So it's uh, it, uh, sometimes it feels like yeah. I mean, I've been here for a long time, but at the same time, it's uh, it's gone by in a blur and. Um, uh, it's it's hard to believe that I'm going into my 11th year, but uh, definitely proud to proud to uh, still be here and uh, excited to get the season going.